Hi everyone, it's Professor McAllister again. And today on Study Skills Sunday, I'm going to talk to you about taking notes and reviewing information. These are the tools of my trade. Notice all the colors. There's colored pens, there's colored stickies, colored highlighters. The reason for all that color is because when the brain sees color, it automatically focuses in on that information. There, therefore, it makes it easier to understand, remember, and maybe more importantly, to retrieve it on an exam later on. This is called the Curve of Forgetting. It was created by a German psychologist, Professor Ebbinghaus, in the late 1800s. And what Ebbinghaus says is that when, when you walk into a lecture, you're down here at the bottom, zero information. By the end of the lecture, you have acquired 100% of the information but within 10 minutes after class is over, you start losing that information. The, the curve starts going down here. By the end of day two, you're down to about 35% retention of that information that you had learned the previous day. And if you continue to not review the material, after about a week, you're down to about maybe 25%. And then by the end of the month, you are all the way down here, which is not a good place to be when you have an exam coming. At this point, you basically have to relearn the information. And that's a total waste of your time. So Ebbinghaus determined that if on day two we reviewed that information, that it would only take us 10 minutes to understand it again and have us at about 95% retention. Of course, it's the retention's going to start to slow down a little bit. The, the slope goes down. And a week later, if we study it again, it takes about five minutes to relearn that information and retrieve that information. And then at the end of a month, when you study again for that exam, if you have done the following reviews, the previous reviews, it will only take you two to four minutes to remember that information. That's a much better place to be than down here at the bottom where you have to basically relearn all the material. So it's very important to review your information starting off with within 24 hours of having received the new information. Our brains have a way of filtering out information that it considers to be unimportant. Okay? So that's why we have to keep revisiting it. It's important to form good study habits. Learn to work smarter, not harder. And you can do that by managing your time, by being self-disciplined. Uh, so to make yourself study when you'd rather not. You need to be able to concentrate, and you need to be organized. Here's one method of organizing note cards. Notice the student who saved these use binder clips to keep the classes together. And then she used a permanent marker on the end to mark what the subject was. Now, I could see a system like this for something like anatomy and physiology where you would keep all the related subjects together and then these these note cards are also stored in a little 
file box. You need to be able to access the information when it's time to study instead of looking all over the place for your misplaced note cards. There's a variety of methods for note taking. Before, during, and after. So before is referred to as previewing. If you have time to read the text before the class, you would preview it, and I'll come back to that in a second, and you would annotate it, which means marking in the margins, making notes, underlining words, and then, of course, taking notes of what you read. You would do this before the lecture. However, once you get into nursing, uh, you might not have time to read five chapters before class. And so if that's the case, at a minimum, if you preview, preview the chapters, you will be in a much better position than when you walk into class. Preview, previewing involves reading the, the chapter title, reading the objectives, reading the titles and subtitles, any bolded or italicized size words, and also reading any graphs or illustrations, and then the summary at the end of the chapter. By doing that before class, your brain will be primed to accept the new information that you'll be receiving. Of course, you want to take notes during class. That's very important. And then at the bottom, I have rewriting notes after class. There's a couple steps after class that can be helpful. One I mentioned in a previous study skills video where I suggested that as soon as you could after class, write down the three most important things you remember from the lecture. And I still highly recommend that's that procedure because you're forcing yourself to retrieve the information. It's also helpful to rewrite your notes after class. Let me show you an example of what your notes could look like after class. Well, actually, this is a, an example of a textbook. This is an example of annotating. This was from a biology textbook. Notice there's comments, there's underlining, there's boxes. I like to draw boxes for some reason. Different colors. So this is what annotation would look like. Here's a rewrite of notes. Notice the colors. Notice uh, the student drew arrows to indicate the relation. This is a useful tool. Tab sticky notes. They're useful. In this case, it looks like the student used them just to label the contents in a notebook. However, you could also use them when you review your notes, if you determine you left out something important, you could jot it down on that. You could also use them to summarize whatever information is on that page. That's another way of making sure you'll be able to retrieve that information later. And, of course, you can use regular sticky notes. You can use these sticky notes to, again, to summarize, um, to elaborate, to illustrate. Here's a good example of some colorful notes. And anytime you can draw a diagram, that will help you remember the information even more so. Another example, see all those colors. So, remember to remember, review the material within 24 hours. Otherwise, your brain's gonna think it's not very important and it's gonna filter it out. 
If you review your notes within 24 hours and then again a week later, it will only take you approximately five minutes to remember that information, to recall it. And then by the end of 30 days, you will be able to recall that information with a mere two to four minute review. That is an example of working smarter, not harder. And once you're in nursing school, you're going to need these skills. Trust me. And these, this is my uh, list of references that I used. Um, both of these relate to Ebbinghaus's curve of forgetting or the forgetting curve. Thank you so much. And tomorrow night, we will post the logical conclusion and inferencing video. Thank you. And I look forward to creating more videos for you. Hi, thanks for watching my video. If you found my video helpful, please indicate it by hitting the like button. You're also welcome to leave any questions or comments down below. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll receive notification of all my future videos. Thank you.